as a strap-on fanboy um, that's only been watching the sport for a couple of years since I discovered Drive to Survive, what I really hate is when my main rival's um, teammate takes out my favourite driver uh, on purpose by bowling and taking him out. Um, that makes me think that my favourite driver fully deserves to be gifted a championship or three. And also um, that the rules of the sport should be broken uh, for karma because, yeah, that's that's what should happen, shouldn't it? Um, this should never happen, should it? There's, there's never an excuse for the teammate of a world champion uh, taking out your favourite. Let's have a look. Bit of uh, bogging down, getting off the line. Is it uh, low grip conditions because we've had rainfall and therefore he's struggling for traction? You can hear the engine note, so you can tell when he's accelerating and you can tell when he's braking and changing down gears. And oh, the spray's now coming up off the road, making visibility a little bit more challenging. Oh, are we uh, downshifting? Are we braking? Are we braking? Are we braking? What about that car in front? Is that car in front going at what you'd see as being a natural speed for going around that corner? Or does that seem to be braking a bit quicker than you'd anticipate? Let's have a look again. Let's have a look at that in full speed, paying particular attention to the engine tone, what Bottas is doing in terms of is he braking, is he changing down, is he slowing down sufficiently to make that corner, and what causes that impact. So, let's have a look. Well, he's downshifted quite a number of times and he's on the brakes but that orange car that mclaren seems to have braked quite a lot harder and he's um going into that corner extremely slow and the leader hamilton has left a long way on the outside so he's left the space on the inside for this orange car to go to actually be there hamilton would have got the better drive out the corner you'd have expected but this orange car seems to have um Braked and uh, kind of ran Bottas out of room. Let's have a look. Natural acceleration. Car coming either side of him. Wheels straight off of Bottas's car. He, he's got no control over that. It just goes straight on. And then the second Red Bull gets tagged on the way as well. That's what the strap-on fanboys call Bottas Bowling in Hungary 2021. But the thing is, that's the first time this sort of thing's ever happened, isn't it? Where the um, the teammate of your title rival um, takes you out. British Grand Prix, it's lights out and away we go. Sebastian Vettel gets a flyer. And Lewis Hamilton, Valtteri Bottas on the inside as well. Bottas Oh, what's this? Um, 2018, I think it is. I think it's 2018. Yeah, 2018 British Grand Prix. Let's just have a look. Let's just have a look. That might have a better line through, and he's beaten Lewis Hamilton into turn two. Kimi Raikkonen on the outside. As they... What's happening here? He head down towards Village. Vettel from Bottas. Nice Hamilton. Hamilton's gone round, and he's clashed. And Kimi Raikkonen involved as well. That is massive disappointment for the British crowd. Lewis Hamilton has gone from pole. Corners. Right. Can out break himself, tag the back of the Mercedes and spun him around. And look at this slip streaming fight down into Brooklyn. Two red. Uh, so he's got to fight his way from the back of the grid there. Um, no red flag. No chance to go into the pits and change tyres or anything like that at that one. And a Ferrari. Verstappen ahead of Ricardo, ahead of Raikkonen, and then Nico Hulk. Oh well. 
2018 British Grand Prix, the gift that keeps on giving. The gift that keeps on giving. I've got a long one to uh, show you all about the 2018 British Grand Prix. You can't wait. See you soon.